Anthony, whose surname I can't pronounce and won't embarrass myself by attempting to pronounce. I just... Anthony wants to know um, whether putting rubber bands in your dreadlocks can help them form. <laughs> Rubber bands, they seem to go together unnecessarily. I don't know why it is. Um, you see a lot of people wanting to put rubber bands in their dreads. And it's not a new thing. When I started my dreadlocks, it was seen as like, you, you, you put rubber bands in them. And yeah, it's not something that I recommend. If you've seen my how to back comb or how to twist and rip dreadlocks videos, which I made a long time ago, but people still watch them and like, Yay, cool, people, still, I'm still relevant, yay! Uh, if you've watched those videos, you'll see that for sectioning, rubber bands, the little teeny tiny ones, can be invaluable because basically you're just dealing with a whole mass of hair and it's just, it's just all falling down everywhere. It's like trying to dig a hole on the beach and the sand's kind of wet, so the more you dig, the more just stuff falls in. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, it's like that with hair. Like, you're trying to make the dreadlock with just more hair coming in and rubber bands are just like, Oh, you can organize it. Organization, yes, it, it makes it so much simpler. But I think beyond that, I would not recommend putting rubber bands in dreadlocks at all. Because I used the rubber bands in those two videos, a lot of people are like, oh, he's using rubber bands, I should use rubber bands. I'm like, no, 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 I specified in the video. The rubber bands, you use them for the sectioning, as soon as you finish back combing all the dreads, as soon as you finish twist and ripping all the dreads, you, you, you take the rubber bands out, you, uh, you, you, you throw them away, you, you go bing, and, and then you make a mess. Um, there's this idea that you should put rubber bands in all the roots, and some people even in all the tips, and other people like all over the whole dread, because it keeps them looking neat and tidy and held together. And it's true. If you put rubber bands in the dreads, it's kind of going to like turn them all into like little ponytails of hair, and then you're going to have lots of them, and they're going to look like tubes of hair, and dreadlocks are tubes of hair, so it seems like it's achieving what you want, but it's really not. It's a scam, it's a lie, it's a trap. Um, I, uh, some people are gonna be like recommending rubber bands, I'm not, and that's kind of my personal opinion on it. The reason being that if you're holding all your dreads together with rubber bands, you're holding all the hairs in place with rubber bands, and that's not conducive to forming the dreadlocks, because dreadlocks are formed by the hairs knotting up, and if you're trapping them all in place, then that they're not going to form dreadlocks because they're just hairs stuck in place with rubber bands. Um, that's kind of the, 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 the basic reason behind it. Uh, you think you're putting rubber bands in your dreads to help them, but actually you're like, making things slower, which is not what you want. Um, the other reasons why I wouldn't recommend rubber bands beyond the sectioning stage is loose hairs can knot over the top of them, so they can kind of get matted in and then you're like, oh shit, my rubber band is stuck inside the dread and I can't get it back out again. You have to cut it back out. It turns into a big thing. If you use really cheap rubber bands, I've seen them melt into like this, this, this goo. I don't know which ones melt because I've only seen them once they've melted and like, oh, that's not nice. And literally they turn into like this, this goo. <laughs> you want to avoid those ones, but I don't know which ones they are. Just, it's easier because Rubber bands aren't great anyway to avoid them altogether, but especially avoid the ones that turn to goo if you leave them in your hair too long. And the final reason why I would avoid rubber bands is rubber bands are made of rubber. Not all of them are. Some are made of like plastic, so it's not quite the same. But you, you know rubber, right? It, 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 it rubs. It rubs, right? Uh, it can rub against your hairs. It's like not that nice feeling. If you've ever used a rubber band to tie up your regular hair in a ponytail, you know how it kind of like grabs on your hair and rubs, and then when you take the rubber band out, it's like it's got hair stuck to it. It's really frictious. There's a lot of friction. So if you've got rubber bands on, on like the outside of one dread, and it rubs against the other dread, it can form weak spots on the other dreads, and especially at the roots, you don't want that. And if you leave the dreadlocks on for too long, not the dreadlocks on for too long, you want to leave the dreadlocks on for a long time. If you leave the rubber bands on for too long, you can also get a weak spot forming underneath the rubber band, where the rubber band is rubbing against the hairs, and the rubber band is stopping the hairs underneath from forming dreadlocks, so they just kind of like loose, soft hair underneath, and then they're getting cut away with the rubber band. It's just, it's just not good. So, whew, calm down, take a breath. Deep breathing, rubber bands.
No, that's a, that's a no from me. Damn, I hope that. I could have just said no, but then it would be like a four second video, and by the time the intro is run, people are like, what was that about? But I gave you the reasons, so hopefully that is sufficient. Um, if you like this quick Q&A video, which actually wasn't all that quick, if I, if I take a look, this is like one of the longer of the new quick Q&A videos. If you liked it, then do give it a quick like, because if we get enough likes on the video, there will be another one at the same time next week. Hooray! If you didn't like it, either don't like or leave a dislike, and then there won't be another one next week. Ooh, I don't know, um, we always say 300, if we get 300 likes we get another one next week. Sound good? Yep, if we don't get 300 likes, I get to sleep in. Win-win. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you again next time. Farewell. <laughs>